guys. So today we are going to get a review of the Black Series 6 inch Lando action figure. Long time coming for this particular review. I've actually had this figure for about a couple of weeks actually and uh, just really haven't gotten around to reviewing this particular figure is one of my uh, most sought after figures in this particular uh, wave of figures. And so uh, today I decided to finally get around to doing this particular review for this figure. So guys, we are going to get a look at Lando here today. All right, guys, and we're going to get a look at the box as we always do. So uh, looking at the box here, guys, you have your Star Wars symbol with the Black Series underneath. You have our figure here in the window, very cool. We have our weapon also pictured in the window. We also have our illustration of the uh, character right there, Lando, who is played by Childish Gambino, uh, who is Donald Glover. Uh, that is the actor's name in case no one knows that. Uh, and then of course we have Lando right there and the Hasbro symbol, warning signs and everything there on our front part of the box. And then putting it over on its side, Lando is number 65 in the Black Series line, guys. Very, very cool. And then getting it on its backside, uh, we have the Star Wars logo again, the Black Series number 65, and all of our information on Lando right here, guys. And I'm going to pull the box a little bit closer so you can get a good look at all of the readable. All right, guys. And it states for Lando Calrissian, smooth and sophisticated Captain Lando Calrissian stands ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and instead become a full-time gambler or sportsman as he calls it shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy so really really cool information there on lando so uh he's transforming his life uh from the smuggler uh to a card player uh gambler kind of uh so we know we're getting a western feel uh in this particular movie uh, i kind of want to liken it to maybe uh, maybe he's playing maybe like a Doc Holliday type of character, uh, perhaps in this particular film. So we'll have to see how that all plays out. But really, really cool readables there on Lando. All right, you guys. And then getting the box on its other side, we have Lando Calrissian in the red with Lando imprinted on the back. And then back around to the front side of the box. So absolutely cool guys so let's go ahead and get this figure out of the box All right you guys and we have lando out of the box looking absolutely cool as the other side of the pillow but uh guys really really cool i love this figure for those of you who do not know i reviewed the five poa figure a couple of weeks ago or maybe about a week ago or so and uh, really actually love that figure, even though it is just a five POA figure. Uh, but uh, for those of you who do know, uh, they use the same face print technology on even the five POAs. So the face print on the five POAs is really, really cool. And I think that's excellent value uh, for the pricing that you get for the five POA figures, uh, $7.99 here in California. Um, the price varies depending on where you are, uh, where you're located, but I think it's an excellent buy for that particular price, uh, even though it is just a five POA figure. Uh, but uh, as you can see, we have little brother Lando here next to his bigger six inch brother right here. Very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do a quick comparison between the two uh, just to get a look at the differences because there are some differences uh, that I think are quite notable. Uh, so we will uh, so we will get a look at that, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and pull our six inch Lando up closer to the camera and get a better look at him. All right, you guys and getting a look at Lando. Absolutely excellent, excellent face sculpt uh, on this particular figure, guys. And, you know, just excellent detail all the way around from the scarf to the belt there. Uh, just really, really cool. Uh, his weapon, uh, which we're going to discuss in just a little bit. Uh, the inside of the cape, the blue in the cape uh, on the inside, very reminiscent uh, of the uh, older Lando. And we will also get a look at uh, and a comparison of the uh, older Lando uh, here as well today, guys. So we're going to get... Uh, a full package deal here today guys um, but really really cool figure all the way around it's excellent excellent looking figure 
not a lot of detail uh, in the leg and pants area, just your typical uh, wrinkle package uh, that you get, but still cool nonetheless. Very cool. All right, you guys. And then uh, getting a look uh, at him without the cape on as well, guys. Just really, really cool sculpting all the way around. Just very, very awesome looking figure. Um, now, uh, the difference, one of the differences, and we're going to go over the differences between the uh, 5 POA and the uh, 6 inch here, uh, but uh, you, the scarf is not attached to the cape as it is on the 5 POA figure uh, down there, guys. But again, we're going to go over that real briefly, but that's uh, a really cool uh, addition there. Uh, so that's uh, one of the differences. Uh, but again, we're going to go over all of that right after we get done with the articulation here. Uh, so starting with the arm, uh, you're going to get a really cool arm bend uh, as so. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to get your 360 all the way around. Um, there is a twist in the wrist, of course. Uh, your twist is going to be in the forearm there. So there is your twist in the forearm. Uh, he's going to go straight out like so. Really cool to get that drawdown look. And then off to the side as so. So really, really cool articulation there all the way around. You're doing really good. So in the leg area, he's going to kick out as so. So that's really, really good. Uh, you're going to get a knee high uh, like so. So that is absolutely awesome. Going back, uh, you have the double joint. So he's going to go back that far for you. So really, really cool articulation there. And then off to the side. Uh, he's going to give you a side kick uh, like so. So that is really, really awesome articulation there. Uh, your swivel in the leg area is going to be uh, particularly at the thigh uh, there. And then in the ankle area, uh, you're going to get that nice little rocker there. So you got a nice rocker. Look, you can twist the ankle as so. Uh, he's going to give you a downward in the ankle area and upward in the ankle area which is really really cool so you're uh, not limited at all uh, in any of those areas in the ab area you're gonna get a forward crunch as so and then in the going back you're gonna go about you're gonna go back about that far so really good articulation uh, in the ab area and then all the way around you're really really good to go there guys and then in the head area uh, you're going to get a down look as like so and looking up like so so not bad at all and then of course your left or right is perfectly good so really really good articulation with our six inch Lando black series figure guy all right you guys and getting you a good look at his cape uh, again you get that reminiscent blue inner lining for the cape there so really awesome uh, very nice black leathery looking uh, cape here so that is really cool with the collar uh, in that hipster style uh, popped up collar uh, so really really nice looking cape there and uh, got our stylish Lando looking really good and then in the weapons area really really cool weapon absolutely awesome looking weapon uh, not a lot of paint apps you just get that uh, metallic gray there or, or uh, silver uh, there that you get um, but you also get this really cool attachment for it uh, as you can see it pulls off there it is guys there's a look at it very nice detail on it looks like it might be a silencer of some sort uh, so as a smuggler I think you're gonna need a silencer so that's really cool and you get that really cool attachment uh, for Lando's pistol uh, which is not available on the 5 POA version. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get a look at that guy. So guys, as you can see on the 5 POA version, uh, it does not include that very, very cool silencer piece or additional piece there uh, on the weapon. Uh, obviously, there is no uh, slot there uh, for an additional piece on the 5 POA version of the weapon. Um, but uh, very similar looking. Uh, so very good uh that they did match it uh, in that regard. Uh, unfortunate that they did not provide you with the additional attachment for the weapon. Um, but again, it does add the value uh, to the uh, six inch and makes getting the six the uh, six inch uh, a much more reasonable buy uh, if you're going to get additional 
accessories with that particular figure for the price that you're paying for it so uh really cool and uh very very awesome there guys and then guys getting a look at our two capes the differences on the five poa uh, you don't get that blue lining uh, on the five poa you just get the uh, regular black all the way around there uh, in the lining uh, as opposed to the blue lining there uh, so that would be again uh, another one of the differences there uh, in the uh, cape for your Lando and then again the, uh, one of the other differences is that uh, with your 5 POA the scarf is attached to the cape uh, as to where your 6 inch uh, the cape and scarf are two separate pieces so uh, again really really cool and adds value to your six inch figure as opposed to the five poa all right you guys and then getting a look at the uh two different uh scales of figure here themselves now uh even though the five poa is a really really good head scope uh it really is uh, especially for the price point but obviously you can see the difference there and the value of the uh, six six inch sculpt uh, right there is just much richer, uh, much more lifelike uh, as opposed to uh, the more figurish looking five POA version. But still for a five POA version, I think it's really, really good uh, for the price point and serves its purpose, uh, I believe. So I think that's really, really cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think they're really, really close, obviously. And, um, you know, depending on, you know, what your value is in regards to collecting, I have uh, some collector friends who only collect the five POAs. And then, of course, I have uh, those friends who only collect the six inch. I think there's value in both. Uh, if you collect the vehicles, obviously, you do want to keep your five POAs or some form of the three and a quarter size figures. Uh, if you can get them uh, super articulated, uh, you definitely want to have that. Um, but, of course, uh, the six inch uh, obviously is uh, going to give you much more detail and much more articulation for your, uh, oh, your money. All right, you guys. So now we have all three of our Landos here. We have Grandpa Lando. We have Young Man Lando. And we have Young Kid Lando. No, I'm just kidding. That's just the 5 POA version of the Lando. Uh, but does look like it could be little lando right there running around there uh but very cool guys so uh guys let's get a comparison of older lando versus young lando guys all right you guys so uh getting a look at both of our figures here now what i really really like about this is if you compare the face sculpts between the two actors billy d williams and donald glover uh right here um, yeah, there is a really cool likeness that makes it very believable that they are one and the same, uh, just a younger version and an older version. Um, even if you uh, compare the two actors themselves uh, to each other, uh, they could uh, actually be a older and younger version. Uh, but what I really like here in comparison of the uh, figures, uh, they really could be one in the same uh, person. Uh, you can see the you can see uh, pieces of Billy D. Williams in the young Lando scope uh, and that would eventually uh, become the older Lando scope. So I think that's really, really cool. And then as far as style is concerned, I, I mean, you know, Lando has always been stylish, always had the lining in the cape there. Um, always nice and stylish with the shoes there. I mean, look at that. He's always got the uh, gentleman's uh, wear and gear on. Um, so just looking really, really davonair and uh, really cool. And uh, I really, really think these are two awesome figures right here, guys. And I'm very, very happy to have them as a part of the collection. All right, you guys. So let me know what you think about the Lando 6-inch Black Series figure. Will you be adding it to your collection? Have you already added it to your collection? Also, let me know if the solo film is a good one. Will you be willing to see a part two or maybe a third film as a trilogy? Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you always.